Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today, I just wanted to talk briefly about how to calculate superheat and subcooling. You know, in doing any type of startup or uh, doing any type of refrigerant diagnostic, superheat and subcooling is always going to be information that we need to collect when it comes to evaluating the charge of the refrigerant. We need to make sure that our superheat and our subcooling are in the desired range according to the manufacturer and according to the type of metering device that we have. So today we're using a set of digital gauges and digital gauges make it really easy. They kind of do all of the work for you. Um, instead of us having to do the math and add it up ourselves, you can see here that the digital gauges give us um, a readout right there on the screen. Um, so the top line you'll see our PSIG for our suction side or the, the blue hose that's connected to the large hose. You'll see our PSIG um, for the liquid side. That's going to be our red hose connected to the liquid line. And then our temperature clamps on both of those pipes. And based on the difference between that number and the saturation, the temperature and the saturation of those uh, refrigerants, saturation points of the refrigerants, you'll see a, we'll get a superheat of 39.5 and a subcooling of 2.9. Now, whenever you're dealing with refrigerant, uh, make sure that you have on your safety gloves and you're wearing eye protection at all times, especially when disconnecting um, the hoses. You may not have a set of digital gauges and you might have to use analog gauges. If you're using a, your set of analog gauges, you'll have to have the appropriate tools to calculate that information properly. But it works the same way, there's no difference. So all you have to do with a set of analog gauges is take your meter, set that to temperature, take your temperature clamp, and put those in the exact same locations that I have um, these temperature clamps on, and then hook your analog gauges up. Read the difference, look at your saturation point versus the temperature of the line um, that you're checking, do the math, and then you'll come up with a superheat and subcooling number. That concludes this edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you next time. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Uh, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely want to hear from you and we'll see you next time.